Unit 13, out for patrol mission. Over. Unit 15, out for patrol mission. Over. All units, report immediately when drop point is reached. Over. So what do we have today? Another tourist yacht wrecked? Some pretty lady lost control in a cloud of space garbage and crash landed our desert, huh? <laughs> like the one last month? Yeah, I hope so. But this time it looks like something else. Command reports their radar shows something bigger than a tourist yacht. No mayday, no radio contact. I hope it's not something. Several FNU bases are under attack. We have confirmation that four bases have lost contact and their fate is unknown. FNU made no official statements on the matter, but most likely the war between the FNU and the Phantom League is not yet over, unlike what analysts have been forecasting. The Phantom League disclosed itself in the year 2099 and, since then, confrontation between the FNU and the Phantom League has grown into the biggest war ever since Third World War on Earth. Until recently, the Phantom League was considered to have been defeated and its troops were retreating on all fronts. Is the war drawing to an end? We can only guess. Stay tuned and we will keep you up to date on the news as and when it happens. We are transmitting from all League stations. Today, July 24th, 2163, our troops began a full all-out offensive against all colonized planets of the Big Circle. The Free Nation Union's mercenaries proved to be defenseless against our noble revolutionary troops. Our soldiers spread panic and fear among those cowards who ran for their lives, leaving their weapons and machinery on the battlefields. It is now clear that the revolution is about to see a great victory throughout the whole galaxy. Great Excellence Joseph Hutler himself stated at a press conference that peace was about to return and that soon our children would be going back to school. The Phantom League is stronger than ever before and so-called democracy, imposed upon free world by the FNU, is going to...